So I think like last December I did like a pacifier collection video um, and I kind of just want to do one like once a year and it hasn't been a full year yet but I have a bunch more pacifiers <laughs> so I figured I'd do like an updated video so this is basically like a part two um, from that video so I'll also link it um, if you want to watch that after this. Also a lot of these are from Sugar Cone Boutique and I have a promo code uh, for them on their website. They're a really nice shop, I'm friends with the owner and so it's gonna seem like I have a lot of pacifiers from them, uh, which I do, but it's because I am a promoter, I have a discount code, and they make really pretty pacifiers that I am like always interested in. Okay, so where to start? I think I'll start with like my white pacifiers. Um, yeah, okay. Also, all of like the shops and like discount codes and stuff will be in the description so if you want to know like what specific shop the specific pacifier is in it'll be listed below so this is a little twin star passy it has this little charm with glitter in it um and i don't think the shop is active anymore i know that they were closing i used to be a promoter for them too <laughs> um but if they're closed already, then I'll just say that in the description. And next one, there is this. I got this in a witchcraft age regression mystery box. And I love this pacifier. The only issue with it is that this ring that the charm is on, it started to rust. So I don't know if you can see, but it kind of is like dirtying up the handle. So. I should take that off and replace it or something, but for right now, that's how it is. <laughs> Following the witchcraft theme, I then have this pacifier that is... And this one is just really cute colors in my opinion. I love like, I don't know, I love the five elements colors. And then another colorful one. This one is a Pride Passy. I wanted a Pride Passy for a long time. It's just that whenever I found them, like, I just didn't like how they looked. But this one is, like, really pretty. Um, and both of my flags are on there, so I'm happy about it. Because I'm polysexual and gender fluid. And so a lot of times my identities don't, don't get, like, included in, like when they have like a bunch of flags or like pride like identity mentions so that makes me happy and then i just recently got this passy and it's stunning i want to do like a full review video on it um but it's my second shaker passy and i just love it so much it's so pretty and then the last pacifier that has white technically only the shield is white but this is a spongebob pacifier um and i don't know it's really cute i love the colors and also lisa frank has like a really nice aesthetic to it too okay pacifiers that i decorated myself basically so in my last collection video i know that i showed this pacifier but it was completely plain it's originally from little Tude, but it just had a sticker on it and i have like sensory issues uh, so I wasn't like using it because like the plastic basically that gen 1 pacifiers are I just can't tolerate them especially when I'm regressed that makes me like hypersensitive to sensory stuff um, So that's why all of my pacifiers are always decorated at least like a border around the shield and Very preferably the handle also has um, Like some kind of texture or something but um so I decorated this passing myself and before it was literally just like the sticker on the front and everything else was plain, there weren't any rhinestones or pearls on it. So I like it a lot now, better actually anyway though, like visually, I just find it like more pleasing. And then this pacifier, I got like a plain gen 1 pacifier, like this orange one, again in the mystery box. Um, and. I was like, okay, well I can't use this like just plain, 
so I decided to decorate it myself. So again, like Lisa Frank, it has a leopard, I forget what his name is, and a bunch of rhinestones. Okay, and then I also just recently got these two. Um, this is my third Shaker Passy. It's a butterfly, and I want to decorate the handle, but I don't know, I'm having trouble like figuring out what I want to decorate it with because I don't really have any like rhinestones that match the shield, but I don't know, I'll probably come up with something. Also, the shop was really nice with this um, because the shaker actually has like a bit of raised like resin, like right here on this side of the wing, um, so that it actually looks like it had cracked in photos, but it was just because like the, how the light was reflecting off of it. So I asked about that after I said that I wanted to order it, and then she was just like, I think it was a girl, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Um, but so I, I like mentioned that to the store owner, and they were like, oh yeah, well that's just like a resin issue. So they basically like discounted the passy for me, and so I got it for really cheap for a shaker passy, and that makes me happy. And then from that same shop, I also got this pronoun passy. Um, which again, I've always wanted one, but I just usually don't like how like the pronoun pacifiers turn out. I don't know why. But this one had a really cute little front piece and just like nice dainty rhinestones to it, so I love it. Then the last pacifier that I have to show you guys, it's not really like a pacifier pacifier technically, it's a teether. Um, but I basically just use it to stim and kind of like a pacifier, but just like like ultimate stimming pacifier <laughs> um and it's this like little raspberry teether it's it's for a baby it's like um 18 month old but it has like a little <laughs> raspberry nipple um and like leaves and stuff so it's it's really cute and i got this off amazon actually so i think for like three dollars so i'll link that below um if i can find like the same listing it's gonna be a monetized link though, so if you purchase it through that link, um, I'll get like a little bit of a like money prize <laughs> for recommending it to you. So please do that if you're gonna buy it. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it'll give you ideas on what kinds of like deco pacifiers you want. Um, some people commented on my last like a pacifier collection that they like were sad because they couldn't have pacifiers or they had to hide them or like uh deco passies were too expensive for them and like i just want to say all of that is perfectly valid um you just have to remember that everyone is in a different situation so someone who is able to afford like all of these pacifiers um even though i'm a promoter so i get uh, most of them i got like really discounted um just because someone else is to is able to afford something like that, like, I know that it really sucks, but it doesn't mean that you, like, as an age aggressor or whatever you identify as or whatever reason you want an adult pacifier for, it doesn't make you any less valid in that um, if you're not able to afford these kinds of things. And I know a lot of people want them because they seem really nice, and I hope to those people who aren't able to get them yet, that they can get them in the future. Like, whenever you move out or start making more money, um, or just are in a better situation in general. I hope that everyone gets, like, the past of their dreams. And I just like showing my collection because I know that it gives other people ideas and other people are interested in seeing what I personally have. I definitely have a style, <laughs> um, in terms of passies that I like. And I think everyone pretty much does, but I don't know, a lot of people seem to like my passies, so I just enjoy sharing them. And I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad or feel lesser for not having passies that are like these. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the long rant at the end, um, but I'm gonna go, and thank you for watching.